When we had last left, the Spacefarer. Their adventures with Andresia continued, leading them to none other than Jada, who was out and about on her own ship, trying to ambush a whole bunch of Varun zealots. And it didn't go well. Except for the f part where uh, the Spacefarer and Andresia arrived just in the nick of time in order to save them, and then get more interesting information that led them to none other than Thomasar, a contact that Andresia used to get in contact with House Varun, for it was revealed that nobody knew where the House Varun homeworld was, save for a select few, and communications had to be routed through them. It seemed as if Thomasar was a major a-hole, and Andresia planned to somehow attempt to reveal their conniving ways to the High Council of House Varun. This is Starfield. Welcome back. Zoop, zoop, zoop. There we go. All right, let's head on back to the ship. There we are. I tried to actually deposit stuff onto the ship from here, but could not. Is there actually anything worthwhile in this abandoned area? It really doesn't seem like it. But maybe. Frankenstein? I don't know if we had read that. No, I think we had. I think you may be trying to take a little too much on. Literally. Med pack. Anything else? Let's pop this. Anything here that's good? Huh. I don't think so. Huh? Did you pick? Always useful. Oh. Progress is contagious. There's a little sleeping cat. Days in space. I want to be New Atlant- I want to see New Atlantis one day. Uh. Okay. Medpack. Decorative pendulum. This place is remarkably huge for there not being really anything to do in it except loot meds. It's very peculiar, very odd. Huh? There's a little safe. Oh look, Varun Scripture 2. Man, it's the same one that we always find. Increasing your sneak bonus. Unless they all do the exact same thing. Which I, I guess is possible. I haven't been paying attention to the number. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, that one was pretty easy. There we are. Take all that. Pop these open. Dish rag, bunch of junk. Tape measure, various books, Crimson Cabin, ship repair. Container. Okay. Triple grip dumbbell. Digipick. Okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, an antique little guy. Okay. Food container got pried open. Learned astronomer. Pills. Okay. Med container got ripped open. All right. Not much else. Huh. Bunch of tea. I guess we'll take that. Is there actually a crafting station? No. Okay. More meds back here. Grapes? I guess I'll take grapes. Why not? 
Anything here? Coffee bag. Big old crate of money and reactive gauge. I don't need that. Just taking the money. Food tray. Oh, another crate. A little bit of money. Yeah, how odd. And then we've looped around on this floor. Did we check everything down here on this lower level? I'm not sure. Positron battery. You know what? I'm taking it. Hmm. Digiframe. Some wood. Okay. Various notebooks. Trash. Pop these open. Did you pick in here? Antimicrobial? It's not terribly rare, though. Maybe we'll leave it. Okay. There's this whole other room. We can even go into it. Okay. I wonder if... If it's uh, just because we didn't... We chose not to kill this person. Right? <laughs> Maybe it was the wrong call to not kill him. Oh, fuck. Getting a little fucked up here. Okay. Safe. Expert lock on this. Let's see here. Hmm. Okay. That solves that. Huh. But then there's no other way to solve anything else. Okay. I don't have anything that solves the outer ring. Okay, we can solve that middle one. I guess we'll just go poking around trying to solve the... the outer ring then. Huh. I mean, how would we? Oh god, like this? Okay. Alright, fuck me. And that would be great if we had a single. But we do not. Now this, however, is perfect. Oh, what a pain in the ass. Okay. Anything here? No, not really. Trauma pack. Oh, I thought that was a container. Okay. Ammo case. Looks like cred sticks. Hamburger. I will take it. A microsecond regulator. I'll take that. We just got a positronic battery. Or a positron battery. Oh, couple digipics right there. Okay. Good, good, good. Let's get on out of here. There we 
we go. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm getting fucked up. Oh, I'm fucked up real bad. Okay. <laughs> Let's go straight to the cockpit, and then we'll get up, and we'll stow stuff into the ship. There we are. Great. Man, I cannot wait to get a different set of armor. I'm really not a fan of the look of this one. Okay, store all resources, and we have some extra weapons. Yeah, there we go. Great. And we need to stow away all of these as well. Oh, fuck. We are at max capacity. Holy shit. Okay. Well, that ain't ideal. We need to clear out some room then. Let's see here. Resources. Let's just get all that aluminum. And then we'll put these in. There we go. Good. And then let's quick save. And let's be on our way back to the lodge. I hear Constellation has been collecting a ton of new things. Ancient things. She's no longer docked. We're free. So has Andresia been using something at the Lodge to communicate with House Varun? Is that what's up? Okay. Back this way, and then... Zoom on out here. Office Centauri, and the Lodge. We'll just see if we can't go directly there. I'm assuming not because we have contraband. Well, no, looks like we can. Oh yeah, okay. All right. Fingers crossed we don't get fucked. <laughs> we'll see, though, I guess. Encoding phase ship. Synodic pull. Do you need anything? You're closed. Switching over to standard engines. This is UC security. Prepare to be scanned for contraband. Come on, 75% chance? Come on. Fuck, yes. You are cleared to land at New Atlantis. Hell yeah, I am. All right. Good. And then... Over to the lodge, and let's land. Great. You can hail guard ships in combat if you want to surrender to them. Huh. I wonder if there's a limit to how high your bounty is, is before you- Is meant to inspire or intimidate? Perhaps it depends on your reason for being here. Like to the point where your bounty is so high you can't possibly surrender. We are fortunate that Walter has used his considerable funds to maintain the lodge, are we not? This okay. is all exciting, but there's really a lot of pressure on us, isn't there? We have to get this right. Mateo, there was always pressure. You just didn't always feel it. <laughs> Man, that sounded w really cool. <laughs> that sounded like a really cool line. <laughs> All right, over here. Oh, secret weapon case. Are you going to give me a secret Andresia special weapon? Ah, it is a good day, yes? Is it? Thank you for coming back here with me. I fear that... After all that has happened, I am unsure of my place in House Varun. This room... may now be the only place I have left to call home. The Lodge will always be here for you. We all will. Don't jump to conclusions. You don't know what will happen. Whatever happens next, we'll face it together. The Lodge will always be here for you. We all will. Yes. <laughs> I know that I am not completely alone. And that offers some comfort, but it is more complicated than that. I do not know how to live without some connection to House Varun. The Great Serpent has always been a guiding force in my life. The force that drives all that I do. What? What if I have lost that? 
I mean, I don't think the Great Serpent isn't necessarily intrinsically tied to House Varun, right? Like, if you do believe in the Great Serpent as a deity, there is nothing that says, right, that the Great Serpent has a direct connection to House Varun specifically. You don't need House Varun. You have a family and constellation. Your connection to the Great Serpent was never through Thomasar. It's still there, inside you. If House Varun abandons you now, they're making a huge mistake. You need to just forget about all this. Put the past behind you. Yeah, your connection to the Great Serpent was never through Thomasar. It's still there, inside you. Yes, that is true. Whatever else has happened or will happen, the Great Serpent still holds a purpose for me. You have been by my side through all of this. The most turbulent time in my life. And you have supported me, faithfully. I have never been able to count on any single person the way I have with you. If I am repeating myself, you will have to forgive me. I just... I cannot overstate what it means to me. Oh, oh, you get to decide at this point. Oh, I see. Friendship. That's what best friends are for, isn't it? I'll always be here for you. I love you. Oh, but no, I do feel purely platonic with Andresia, right? I do feel like we are very good friends, but I don't feel like um, I'm not like interested in Andresia in that sense. Uh, that's what's best. That's what best friends are for, isn't it? <laughs> I have never had a best friend, but I believe that sounds right. So if we are to be best friends, then I shall do everything I can to be there for you in the way that you have for me. Yeah, we gotta make bracelets too. How can too. I sit here feeling sorry for myself when there is so much for us to do? Oh, Andresia considers you an ally. Wait, she... Hang on, she didn't before? <laughs> okay. Is it gonna say that for everybody or just Andresia? Like, 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 is nobody else considering me an ally yet until we do their missions? What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Well, I still don't have these accessible. Andresia, what's in your secret fucking compartments here? Hmm. Hello, excellent to see you. Oh, you're saying new things now, okay. How are you feeling about our friendship? It is good to have someone I can call a real friend. Man, I wish I could just sometimes, <laughs> you know, what a what a fucking like video game ass thing to be able to do. Just like, how are you feeling about our friendship? <laughs> you know, typically the only time in real life you would ever say something to, like that to someone is when the friendship is not doing very well at fucking all. <laughs> Just like, hey, uh, how you feeling about our friendship? <laughs> yeah? Okay. <laughs> what if this was more than just friendship? Whoa, okay. We're on the same page then. I would certainly hope so, or I might feel quite foolish right now. Uh, do you mind if I ask some personal questions? You do not need to ask me if you may ask. You may just ask. I'd like to know more about House Varun. I am not surprised you have questions. Uh, that- thanks. I'm good for now. Let's just exhaust all of this. I want to hear it all. I want to know everything. What's it like being part of House Varun? It is not for the faint of heart, I assure you. To know what the future will bring, what will be not just your fate, but that of all those around you. And yet to have no choice but to keep that to yourself. It is a challenge. But as I have told you, it also fills me with purpose. And that purpose is what guides me and drives me. Thanks. I'm good now. Er, nope. Can you explain the Great Serpent to me? You might as well just ask me to explain the universe. Here is what I can tell you. The Great Serpent revealed himself to Jinan Barun decades ago. He explained that it was he who had created this galaxy and breathed life into it. And while he had slumbered after his creation, he would return soon. And when he did, those who had served him in his stead would be rewarded while the rest were cast into shadow. And so for generations, 
we have prepared for his return. Huh. Do you think you'll ever return to your home? I wish I could say. We allowed Tommy Sar to live, but he may well defame me before the High Council in an effort to save himself. I will have to make sure that what we discovered reaches the High Council. I do not know how. But that is for me to do on my own. Does it bother you, being away from your people? I am human. Of course it bothers me. But I have a mission. And my mission helps preserve the lives and safety of my people. That is more important than my personal feelings. Do you worry about people finding out? For all that I have seen and experienced, I have never been as afraid as the day Sarah and Vladimir confronted me. But they agreed to keep my secret. And they have held true to their word. That surprised me, but also gave me some amount of comfort. I know that most would not react the same. House Varun is still widely hated in the settled systems. And that sentiment will not change anytime soon. It is, after all, much of the reason I was sent here in the first place. Hmm. Why does House Varun send out undercover agents? Also, that was the scariest day of your life. I, th I feel like the scariest day of my life was finding out that there are aliens and that they are pissed. <laughs> Why does House Varun send out undercover agents? You know, of course, of our tumultuous history with the people of the settled systems. Few have forgiven the Serpent's Crusade. The High Council worries that many would still plot to wipe us out completely. And so we watch. We look for warning signs and we send word back. And it does not help that we are unfortunately still dependent on supplies. Life on the edge of the settled systems is difficult and no one will formally trade with us. So agents also help oversee deals with smugglers and the operations needed to transport supplies back home. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm um, good for now. No, thank you. It is good to be able to discuss this with someone. Okay, good talk. It is always a pleasure. Well, we should definitely get another follower now. I'm feeling probably it should be Barrett, because we haven't hung out with Barrett in a very long time. Oh, Digipick. You don't mind, Andresia. Okay. Very uninteresting room, <laughs> right? It's so uninteresting that that in and of itself makes it interesting. Okay. Well, let us head on out. Oh, uh, we need to go hit up the well, don't we? So we can pawn off some of our trash that we've accumulated, our illicit cargo. Let's go do that real quick. There we go. Actually, we ought to get Barrett with us too, post haste. Yeah, we'll fast travel back to the ship and get Barrett in tow. There we go. Good. I'm assuming there's only one like loyalty mission, right? It f it Always feels that a way. a satisfying moment to return to your ship. Okay. Good. And let's see, where is Barrett at? Oh shit. Okay. Something you need? Over here. Excuse hey. me. What? Excuse me. Space what? is so hostile to humanity already, and you made it just a little bit safer for everybody. Are you talking about the no terrible? No matter what you okay. could have done differently. This will impact a lot of lives eventually. We'll have to mark it in the Constellation history books so we don't forget it when the Turimorphs are finally gone. I don't care if I'm remembered for that. There are way, way better things they'll remember me for. I don't want to talk about this now, Barrett. Uh, there are way, way better things they'll remember me for. Not to toot my own horn, but I have alien powers now. It's probably gonna- I feel like it's probably gonna be that. Oh, really? I haven't noticed anything. 
Just kidding, just kidding. You're amazing. Like chocolate-covered prasada berries on an all-you-can-eat spicy chunks buffet. Ah, sorry, I'm a little hungry. Balancing risk versus reward is tricky. Even more so when so much hangs in the balance. So, you really think the Acilles are going to work out, huh? You must have seen some data that I did. Microbes can mutate. You know that. You're a scientist. The Acilles are awesome. And also safer. I don't know. Maybe the microbes were a better option. <laughs> I want to say that they're awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna do it because that, that was a big point for me actually picking them. I think they're fucking cool They're reliable as I think what you're trying to say and Yeah, I get where you're coming from By sealing the Lazarus plant away instead of destroying it. I'm worried. We've made things riskier Sealing away the Lazarus plant was the wise decision we can study it. I Can tell you wouldn't have done the same thing you better not be questioning my decisions. We can study it. Come on. You're into studying plants. Maybe we can study it. Fair. But it will take a long time to get any actionable results. Okay. Good sure. talk. I've got a minute. Let's see. Oh, no, wait. Hang on. We do need to trade gear with okay. Andresia before I forget. Let's see. She was up top, I believe, right? Credit for your thoughts. Did you need me to carry something for you? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see here. Good. We'll take these. And then... Nope, you can hold on to the power cells, actually, in <laughs> Look, I've kind of gotten used to you just holding on to them, so it's it's all good. I will take all resources, though. And you can hang on to the rest. Okay. Take care of yourself. Oh, dear. Okay, let's find Barrett. There you are. Hey. You're handling this whole captain thing really well, you know. You ready to head back out? Finally. Let's get out of here. Last one to the ship is a rotten Prasada berry. Man, this guy if fucking loves Prasada trouble, berries. Barrett, you know where to find me. Absolutely. Oh, is she even nicer to everyone, too? Equip followers with EM weapons to engage non-lethally. Right. Okay. Let's see. Do we actually have any spare EM weapons? If I wanted to do that? Because, you know, as a bunch of explorers, it does make sense that we should be prioritizing using non-lethal ways of entering combat. <laughs> although, although historically that doesn't really track, you know? <laughs> historically, uh, explorers really did not go very non-lethal most of the time. Okay. And I think it's just the shotgun that we have. Okay, well, we can be on the lookout. Can we walk without getting winded? Yeah, we're fine. Alright, great. Let's head on out. Whoop. Good. Oh, whoops, too far down. There we are. Hey, Hadrian, how's it hanging? Do you need me somewhere? Can I ask you a personal question? Yeah, I'm all right with that. Oh. Okay, you know what? Actually, we, we won't do that right now. Have a good one. When we get you following us, I will. Okay, let's head on out here. Wonderful. Hard to underscore the impressive architecture of New Atlantis, right? I've been here hundreds of times, and it never ceases to amaze me. There we are. Let's do a quick save, and let's head on over to the well. Let's see. I can never quite remember what the fastest route is to the well. But I'm pretty sure there's, like, another elevator over that way. 
like right by the landing area. Honestly, I'm surprised there's not like a fast travel point for the well. Okay, wasn't there like an elevator here? But this one maybe doesn't go to the well. Oh no, it does. Great. Okay. And then we need to hit up the trade authority. Oh. Maybe I do. What is Hello, it? Oh, Captain. You have anything for me? Yep. Here. Have this. Spaghetti. Car <laughs> carbonara. Okay. Let's see here. We can sell off some junk here as well. And then... Actually, you know what? I can do this in between videos, right? Better way to spend our time. So, I think when next we come back... We should hit up... Apex Predator. Right? We should definitely do that. Okay. Good. Actually, you know what? Even better... Even better thing we could do? Before we call it, before I forget to do this again... Let's chat with all the members of Constellation and hear what they have to say about our resolution for the, like, UC Vanguard arc. Because it seems like they're all going to have something to say about our choices. Okay. There we are. And we should also check back at um, the Lodge. Because I don't think... Yeah, Sam Co. isn't with us at the moment. Okay. There's Barrett. Where is Sarah? Oh. No, she is not there. And not here either. Maybe all the way in the bottom? There you are. Hmm? Hey. Sorry to pull you aside like this, but I wanted to take a moment to congratulate you. Taking those steps to eradicate the Terramorph threat is essential to the safety of every living thing in the settled systems. You should be proud. Something had to be done. Those creatures were dangerous. It's a relief that the situation's being handled. I think you're overstating things a bit. Thanks, but I'd rather talk about this later. Something had to be done. They were dangerous. Yes, exactly. I'm glad you treated the situation with the urgency it deserved. I only wish that the United Colonies chose to exterminate the Terramorphs with the experimental microbe instead of choosing this ridiculous <laughs> CV solution. Apparently, their decision was based on your recommendation. That was a risky choice you've made. I expected you to support my decision. The Asili solution only presents us with minimal, minimal risk. The experimental microbe would have been an even greater risk. Hmm. I wonder if... Will they always question your... Your chosen solution, or do they actually have a legitimate preference, right? Like, if I did go with the microbe, would Sarah be telling me, like, eh, don't you think the microbe's a little dangerous, right? Don't you think that's maybe a little too fast-paced and not even killed enough? I kind of prefer slow and steady. Or does she genuinely have, like, an inherent preference for the microbe? And if you pick that, she'd be like, you know what? I think that was a good idea, going with the microbe. Uh, you in deep thought I think it'll actually give us better results than the Asili's. Okay. I expected you to support my decision. Then you were mistaken. Oh, I'm she sorry, hated it. But I believe that your logic is flawed. The Asili solution will take far too long. Years, perhaps even decades. By then, humankind could be in serious danger. I couldn't condone the release of an unproven microbe into our ecosystem. I hear what you're saying, but I don't know if I'm convinced. You're right. I should have recommended the microbe. Why does it matter how long it takes for the Asilis to get rid of the Terramorphs? Well, because people will die. <laughs> uh, you know what? You're right. Yeah, I probably should have recommended the microbe. Unfortunately, there's no use dwelling on the past. 
you need to live with the decision that's been made. Unfortunately, locking away the Lazarus plant instead of eliminating it adds to the risk. Anything that accelerates the Terramorph life cycle should have been completely removed from the equation. Why take the chance? I feel as though I've let you down, Sarah. Even if we don't agree on this matter, I appreciate your honesty. I wish you'd be more supportive of my decisions. So you also disapprove of my decision to spare the Lazarus plant? I'm sorry, but yes. Your decision has denied us any type of safety net. <sighs> I honestly would have preferred a more scorched earth policy to ensure the end to those horrible creatures. Hmm. Now this one... Um... I am fairly adamant. I 100% think that it is better to have kept it around and have the FC also watch over it. Right? I wish we could say here what we said to Andresia that ain't no way the UC is just gonna like willingly get rid of the plant, right? <laughs> ain't no fucking way. They've already hit so much wild shit, you know? The best way is to just keep it an open secret that the FC can also check them on, right? Because there's no fucking way, unless I am in control of the UC, there's no way I can trust them, right? <laughs> They've proven time and time again that they're like the masters of creating weird fucked up conspiracies, you know? <laughs> They've got so many fucking skeletons in their closet, right? There's no fucking way I would ever trust the UC to uh, dispose of the Lazarus plant themselves unless I'm doing it myself. All right. Well, let's just say fuck. I'm sorry, Sarah. I feel so let you down. I'm sorry. You haven't let me down. You've simply given me cause for concern. I'll tell you what. Let's put this past us, shall we? I'm sure everything will work out in the end. I'm sorry if I've said anything that jeopardizes our working relationship. Nah, it's fine. It's fine. I feel like for the first point, you were totally on board. And for the second one, I really should have been able to mention my my own reasoning there as well, like I did with Andresia. All right, what do you need to talk Ever about? since we talked about the Battle of Cassiopeia, I can't get what happened out of my mind. I could tell it was still bothering you. I told you, it wasn't your fault. I don't have time to talk about this right now. I could tell it was still bothering you. Was it that obvious? Yeah, I got a little alert that you wanted I to talk. Handle these memories, <laughs> but until I return to Cassiopeia, I'll never be able to put this to rest. Ah, uh, hold up. Are we about to get your quest right now? Well, let me help you. That might do more harm than to you than good. Seeing the wreckage isn't going to bring back your crew. How will traveling to Cassiopeia put your concerns to rest? How will this help? The last time I saw my crew... Their escape shuttle was headed for the planet's surface. I need to find the wreckage. God, what if they what if they didn't die? Is this going to end up like they survived? Alright, yeah, sure. If this is what you want, let's do it. Fuck it. I would like that. Actually, I need that. One problem, though. Pinpointing the crew's shuttle wreckage is going to be like trying to find a grain of salt in a sandbox. I think we need to start by locating my old campsite on Cassiopeia 1. You never told me where you ended up after the battle. If they had taken your shuttle, you're lucky you made it to safety. After, are all of the Dauntless's escape shuttles were damaged? What eventually happened to the Dauntless? All of the Dauntless's escape shuttles were damaged? The Dauntless took heavy fire to the docking section during the battle. We had three shuttles. One was destroyed, and the other two were damaged. There was no other way off the ship. What eventually happened to the Dauntless? Shortly after I evacuated, I saw the ship come apart. Yeah, I think we heard that the UC before. The UC listed it as lost. So I assume the Dauntless was completely destroyed. God, what if it wasn't? What if it fucking wasn't? I love the, the UC being fucked up, right? If anything, I hate that it seems like the current... Um, what do you say? What do you say? The, the current upper governing body, the president and her cabinet, 
I don't like that they seem so above board, right? I, I prefer them to be fucked up and shady. I hope it, they're just, like, putting the wool over our eyes, you know? I hope it's all, like, a big talk, like they're talking up a big show or whatever. I hope it turns out they're, that they're actually even more fucked up, right? <laughs> I feel like it's so much better when they're fucked up. <laughs> okay. Uh, you never told me where you ended up after the battle. Was there to tell? I survived. My crew didn't. Still, oh, I'll never forget my finger hovering over that launch button. Would I launch safely or explode into a fireball? It turned out that my shuttle had just enough power to allow an emergency landing on the planet's surface. Oh, piloting check. It's impressive that you soft landed after an emergency jettison that close to the exosphere. You took one hell of a chance. I can't imagine how relieved you felt after you landed. Well, it's not like you had a choice. It's impressive that you landed after an emergency jettison that close to the exosphere. I wouldn't call what I did a soft landing, but thank you all the same. I'll set course for the Cassiopeia system. We need to get you back there to face your demons. Do you think putting this to rest will get you back on your feet? What do you know about Cassiopeia 1? What are you hoping to find at your old campsite? Let's exhaust these. Do you think putting this to rest will get you back on your feet? Don't worry. It's not as though I'm coming apart at the seams. It's the conversations we've been having. They dredged up these old memories and they're a burden. Do you know about, or what do you know about this place? It has a breathable atmosphere, indigenous fauna, and maybe a few abandoned mining outposts. Otherwise, it's not populated. Hey, maybe that would be like a great place to set up a, a base, right? <laughs> Assuming she does get past the trauma. Otherwise, if we do set up a base there, our first outpost, we can never let her know. We can never have her there. <laughs> it, will, it would be so fucked up. <laughs> it, like, if she gets over it, it would be a friendly, nice memory. If she doesn't get over it, she can never know. <laughs> what are you hoping to find at your old campsite? My shuttle should have the telemetry tracking data for the other shuttle aboard. It should give us an idea where it went down. That's if scavengers haven't completely stripped my ship for parts. All right, yeah, we need to get you back there to face her demons. That's what I was hoping. But I don't know the exact location of my survival campsite. For that, we are going to have to head to Mast and see if we can get the information from my old friend, Admiral Logan. Okay, I'm sensing tension between you and Admiral Logan. Visiting Mast might stir up painful memories. You should let me handle Admiral Logan alone. Nah. You you should definitely be there to handle it, but I'll, I'll be with you. I'm sensing some tension between the two of you. Your instincts are right on target. Logan and I butted heads more than once during my time with the Navigator Corps. We've never seen eye to eye. Look, I hope this isn't asking too much. Last thing I want to do is drag you into some kind of personal crusade. Crusades are my specialty. Oh, what, a, what a fucking thing to say. <laughs> Members of Constellation, stick together. Your well-being is important to me. Your well-being is important. That's why I'm desperate for your help. Truth is, I'm scared. When I set foot on Cassiopeia, I don't know if I'll be able to handle what I find. Man, what the fuck? Is there going to be somebody if I there? Begin to fall apart. I need someone I can trust to hold me together. I'll have your back. I appreciate the confidence. You're too tough to fall apart. What are you expecting to find on Cassiopeia? What are you expecting to find? Besides bad memories? I don't know. I'm trying not to think about it. Not yet. Alright. Sarah, you're too tough to fall apart. But, if you do need someone, I'll be there. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, you haven't seen me behind closed doors. Joking Aww. aside, oh, you've always been there when I've needed your help. Why you continue to support me, I'll never understand. 
It's what friends do for one another, Sarah. It's because I care what happens to you, Sarah. It's because I love you, Sarah. This seems like a bad time to, to bring out the L word like that. It's because I care what happens to you, Sarah. Oh, I feel the same way about you. Oh, I've been so busy searching the stars for answers. I've overlooked what's been in front of me all this time. True friendship. Something I've denied myself for far too long. <laughs> oh, hey, Adrian. <laughs> Adrian, what's uh, what's, go <laughs> what's going on? Man, this always happens to Sarah and I. <laughs> we gotta stop meeting like this. Well, that ends today. You've been critical of yourself for far too long, Sarah. Don't start crying on me now. What about Aja? What about Aja? Traveling out here with you, I've discovered that friendships change by circumstance. Well, yeah. I worked closely with Aja on long space voyages, so we became friendly. When she quit Constellation, the friendship ended. But I'm certain at this point, even if you and I were separated by a great distance, we'd never lose touch. You've been critical of yourself for far too long, Sarah. You're right. I have. Hey, um, anyway, I've taken up enough of your time. I know you have a lot to do. I really appreciate your offer to visit Cassiopeia. Hopefully, it'll bring me the closure that I've needed for far too long. All right. Well, uh, sorry, Barrett. It looks like your whole situation is going to have to wait for a bit. <laughs> okay. Let's see. If you don't mind... I'd like to speak to Admiral Logan sooner, rather. Let's head for New Atlantis. Oh. It's important we get to Mast so I can talk to Admiral Logan. Oh, fuck. Okay, yeah. Yeah. We, yeah, we'll do, we'll do, we'll do that. <laughs> okay, there we are. Great. Okay, yeah, sorry, Barrett. Uh, some other time we'll have to catch up again. <laughs> All right, there we go. Come on, Barrett, you understand. I'm, I'm trying to work my way out of the friend zone here. All right, there we are. Can okay. Can we skip the local chunks this time? Never agrees with my stomach. Oh my god, is Sarah like ripping ass from chunks? What the fuck? <laughs> All right, when next we come back, we'll be back in the well. Um, I'll have sold off a whole bunch of our junk. We can also hit up UC Surplus to sell some of the surplus weapons we have, right? As well as the illicit cargo at the Trade Authority. All that good stuff. Right? Sounds like a good plan. Good plan? Great oh, plan. I've always liked that statue. It's beautiful, isn't it? Mm. I wonder what the artist was trying to represent. I don't know if it's that cool. You know, I don't, I don't know if it's that cool. Alright. <laughs> Until next time, please take care of each other. <laughs>